back in ETV. Welcome to Balcony TV LA. My name's Louise Houghton. and I'm very excited to say that we've got Gabe Dixon with us right now and he's going to sing his song called Holding Her Freedom. We'll talk to you after. Thank you. She didn't have much time to break down Didn't have much love to share On our own raising a baby Without a dollar to spare She knows that her phone is ringing She knows what he's gonna say He's gonna tell her to call him Just like he did yesterday She's holding her freedom like a cage She says they'll never take that away as I'm breathing, my heart will be unbroken, unshackled, and free. My friends say she's gotta start living. She says living won't keep us alive. My day is only half over when I clock out at five. Well, finally she tells him she'll meet him If they don't have to call it a date And she almost forgets as they're laughing Her past and the promise she made Oh, she's holding her freedom like a cage She says I'll never take that away As long as I'm Unbroken, unshackled, and free When that time goes by And she gives him a try But it's just too soon There's just not room in her life She, she says goodbye Shackled and free She's holding her freedom Like a cage She says they'll never Take that away As long as I'm breathing My heart will be Unbroken Unshackled and free Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. Unbroken Unshackled and free I love it. Thank you so much for coming and playing all the way from Nashville here in Los Angeles with us right now. And that, of course, is the leading single from your most recent record. Yes, it's the first song on the album. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I love it. What are the others like? Are they all very similar? Um, they have all kind of like a rootsy kind of feel to them. But this is more of a story type of song. I'd yes. Say. Tell us the story behind it. Um, it's very well, it's, it's kind of a made up story, um, but it's about... You know, uh, a woman who kind of is afraid to to love again, I guess. I guess she's kind of been burned in the past. And so, you know, um, I I like to write a lot about love. And the one part part of love is that you have to be vulnerable. And so this woman's, like, afraid to make herself vulnerable again to be, like, in love. And so that's kind of what the song's about, I guess. Made up, though, not from experience. No. no. (laughs) Do you often write write from experience, though? A lot of people do. I do, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I, um, I don't know... I mean that's the best stuff, really. Is is uh, is, a, and I th- I think all my songs there there's a kernel of of experience that you know even if it's not something that hap- has happened to me recently, it's something that I went through or something that someone told me about and it really moved me, you know. So. so you draw on that, and of course you're in Los Angeles at the moment writing. Yes. Yeah, I, I I live in Nashville, but I come out here at least two or three times a year just to write songs and. Uh, for, for myself or for other people or just kind of, I just like to come out here because the, the, the writers are really great and it's just nice to 
to be out here, you know, from time to time. Um, LA is awesome. It is awesome. It's <laughs> true. So. so how is the songwriting going? It's going well. I, I, uh, I, I have had, what, it's been four days, and I think I've written five songs. Wow. So, uh, That's and I, good going. I have another uh, session tomorrow, and then I fly home. <laughs> Wow. So what can we expect coming up for you later on in the year then? Um, you know, I, I'm going to release something um, soon. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of figuring out what that's going to be. Because I, 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 as a songwriter, I, I, I've kind of been like with my head down writing and writing and writing. And I think I need to take a little break and look at what I have and, and, and figure out what the hell I'm going to release because there's a okay. lot there so. so it's kind of watch this space right yes, exactly and where can people watch this space what's it what's your social uh you can go, just go to gabedixon.com or it's pretty easy me on instagram or facebook I mean it's all there uh Brilliant. twitter well just before we go tell us your craziest experience that you've drawn on to make a song from uh, <laughs> craziest experience do you have mm. one really strange story that you thought, oh, that will um, make a good song? Gosh, I guess, uh, I don't know. I, I was, it, it wasn't crazy. It was just weird. Uh, I was at a party one time. It was a Christmas party in Los Angeles, actually. I can't say where it was or anything like that. but uh, <laughs> Wanna it know. Was, it, was a, it was like a, a holiday party, and they had brought in um, fake snow. And... Um, it, this person had hired um, little people to be elves at the party and carry hors d'oeuvres. And it, there was this feeling of, like, actually, that's not really relevant to the song at all. But there, the backstory. Yeah. So the backstory of this song is it, I, I was at a party and it was very uh, sort of superficial seeming. Like, people weren't being genuine. And so I, um, I wrote a song called Shallow about that. But... That's that's not really very crazy. I don't write about write about crazy things really. I just write about feelings and. You gave everybody a sense of LA party life at Christmas, so that's <laughs> well, good enough. I think that even that is a little exceptional, maybe for for LA, but yeah. But still, thank you for sharing it with us, of and thanks course. for coming to Balcony TV in Los Angeles and singing for us. Um, this was Gabe Dixon, and we'll see you next time on Balcony TV LA. Bye. Balcony TV.